Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I'm down on Princess Island Park in Calgary, Canada, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to access, send, and if you so desire, sell your Bitcoin Cash from your Ledger Nano S. Now, this video requires two things. One, that you had Bitcoin on August 1st when the Bitcoin network split and created Bitcoin Cash. And two, that Bitcoin should have been sitting on your Ledger Nano S. Now, if this is not the case for you, this video may still be relevant because if you have a Ledger Nano S or will in the future, and at any point the Bitcoin network does split again, then the steps may very much be the same to access whatever tokens are born of another Bitcoin split. So without further ado, let's check out how to access and sell your Bitcoin cash. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your device Okay, uh, you're gonna need your connector cable, micro USB to USB, and you're gonna need your Chrome browser on your desktop, okay? And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to get the Ledger Manager. So you can just click on Web Store up here and you can search and download the Ledger Manager. Uh, and what this is, it's a piece of software that allows you to update the firmware on your device. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to tap Ledger Manager, it's going to open up an application and it says that we need to connect our Ledger wallet. So really simply, you're going to swing it open, you have the port here, you're going to connect your micro USB, boom, you're going to take your USB cable and you're going to plug it in to your computer. At this point, your Ledger Nano S is going to prompt you for the pin number, which I'm going to do off screen quickly. And once I've input my pin code, and checked it off, it should allow me to access everything here. So what you're gonna do first is down on the left hand side, it says firmwares, and you're going to update the firmware. So you're gonna hit install. Now keep in mind, when you first set up your Ledger Nano S, it gives you a seed phrase uh, to recover your wallet if anything happens to the device. You should check and make sure you still have that seed phrase somewhere because if you've lost it and something goes wrong with this install, it may wipe your wallet, okay? And you don't wanna lose your funds, your regular Bitcoin that are sitting on your Ledger Nano S. Please make sure you have that wallet seed kicking around, okay? If you do, go ahead and hit install. It'll probably prompt you on your device and you hit a button to accept. I've already done this, so I don't need to go through that step. Once you've installed the firmware on your device, uh, you can head over to the exact same thing. You can go to applications on the left. And this gives you a list of all the available wallets for your Ledger Nano S. If you look second from the top here, you can see Bitcoin Cash. All you would need to do is hit this button to download that firmware onto your device. Again, your device will prompt you, do you accept? And you're just gonna hit yes, okay? Um, now, I've already installed this as well, so I'm pretty much good to go here. So I'm gonna X out of the ledger, um, I'm gonna get out of the, the ledger manager, and I'm gonna head back to my Chrome apps, so just my app thing here, and I've also already installed the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin Wallet. Uh, so you may not already have this if you've just been using a mobile solution or a different wallet app, but uh, for this, just go to the web store again and search Ledger Wallet Bitcoin, and that should pop up. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap Ledger Wallet Bitcoin, and it will bring up a new application. So at this point, it's gonna ask me to unlock my Ledger wallet. Now, since I haven't unplugged it, uh, I don't need to put in my pin number again, but what I'm gonna do is using these two buttons, you can scroll through the different wallets that you have. And you're gonna look for one with the exact same logo that says Bitcoin Cash. And to select it, you're gonna tap both buttons at the same time. So I'll do that now, okay. At this point, it's gonna say, which Bitcoin chain do you want to use? If you, um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick Bitcoin Cash, 
Okay, so right now, um, I'm not going to hit remember my choice because I want to be able to access my regular Bitcoin wallet later. Okay, so I'm going to hit Bitcoin Cash. And when you go here, I don't want you to hit split. Don't do that because I've seen people have problems with that. I'm not sure what the deal is, but if you hit main, this will just give you access to your Bitcoin Cash wallet. So you hit main. Now, it's going to pop up and here is my Bitcoin Cash wallet. If for some reason this doesn't bit bump you to your Bitcoin Cash wallet, you can do something up here. You can go to settings, you can go to blockchains and it'll bump you to this screen again. Okay, so I'll, I'll tap that one more time and hit main, but um, that's how you switch between them. Okay, uh, so here I have a clone of all the accounts that were on my regular Bitcoin wallet on my ledger. Okay, now I have obviously because of the zero balances, I have cleared these out previously. Okay, even though it's blurred down below, I have some previous transactions from when I was pulling out my Bitcoin cash. Okay, uh, everything else here functions the same. So if you're not familiar with the Ledger Nano S, I did make a video on it, which I will link in the show notes below. But send and receive is exactly the same. You can send, you can paste in an, uh, a Bitcoin address and an amount, anything like that. Pretty simple. And to receive, same thing. You have a QR code, you have an address, an amount, all that stuff that you can use. So if you actually want to pull out and sell your Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, it's pretty simple. There are a handful of exchanges and ever growing number that are allowing for trading and deposits. So I'm going to show you just three options here. Uh, this is a website called HitBTC. I use this to get rid of a chunk of my Bitcoin Cash. Why? Because this was one of the first sites to allow for Bitcoin Cash deposits. Um, it's really simple to sign up. It's just literally an email and a password. Okay, so I'm already logged in here uh, to fund your account with Bitcoin Cash, you just scroll down uh, and you're looking for BCC right here. There's a little circle with a plus sign. You're going to tap that. It gives you an address. Uh, you could scan if you had a, a mobile wallet to send your Bitcoin Cash here, but obviously I'm on my computer, so I'm just going to hit copy. And then I'm going to go back to my ledger wallet over here. I'm going to hit send. Uh, I'm going to click on the address and I would just paste it in and I would put in however much I want to send over to the exchange. I can hit max and it would send all of it and then I would send it off and we'd be all good. At that point, uh, it would arrive in this wallet. Sometimes it takes a couple network confirmations to be able to access it. But once it is in there, you can go to the exchange up top here and you're just going to do a few quick things. Really, really simple. First, you're going to look over at instruments. You're going to make sure you've selected BTC because you can easily get your Bitcoin Cash converted to Bitcoin this way if that's what you choose to do. Then you're going to look down at the trading pairs down below. So you're, you're wanting to get Bitcoin and you want to trade Bitcoin Cash for it. And it's up near the top here. So if you tap that, it's going to show you the chart for Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash. Um, doesn't look too pretty to me, but I will let you draw your own conclusions from what you see on the screen here. Uh, once you have BTC and BCC selected, you're going to scroll down below. And the easiest way to do this is to hit market, which gives you the best current price that you can based on what you're selling. Uh, if you want to sell it all, you're going to tap and click on the balance. Now I have such a minuscule amount of Bitcoin Cash left in this account that I can't even trade it because it only goes to three decimal places here. But if you were to tap that and you had a sizable amount, it would just auto fill all of that here and it would tell you how much Bitcoin you would receive for that. If that looks okay to you, you're gonna go down, you're gonna hit sell market and you will instantly have your account funded with Bitcoin in exchange for your Bitcoin cash. Essentially free Bitcoin, can't complain. Now, if you're not a fan of this platform, there's a couple others that I can recommend here. Uh, this is a website uh, called Bitrix. It allows for um, lots of altcoin trading. Uh, 
I'm not going to go through the steps of funding and everything here, but just know that you can sign up, you can easily send Bitcoin Cash here and sell it on their exchange. All right. Or if you're in Canada, like myself, uh, you could head over to Quadriga CX, which is the largest national exchange at the moment. And uh, they do have options to fund your account with Bitcoin Cash. So if you head over to the dashboard, you click that there, all right? And then you have a drop down menu and you go down to BCH Canadian dollars. All right, so you would fund your Bitcoin Cash account by hitting fund here, all right? You have a QR code or you can copy this address. All right, and at that point, you can go and you can sell Bitcoin Cash. Uh, if you hit the little B here, it'll fill with your full amount that you have, and you can sell it. Um, now, keep in mind here, you're selling your Bitcoin Cash for Canadian dollars, so you're gonna need to do another trade of Canadian dollars versus regular Bitcoin if you wanna get Bitcoin out and you're getting hit with a small fee on either side of that. So just keep that in mind. It's a fraction of a percent, but you know, if you're trying to save on fees, it's something to keep in mind. So other than that, uh, there are other exchanges that allow for Bitcoin Cash deposits, and I'm sure there's more on the horizon, and there will be more wallet softwares that are capable of handling Bitcoin Cash in the future. I don't think it's going anywhere, but um, for myself, I found the most prudent move was to switch it over to Bitcoin because that is the chain that most uh, embodies the ideals I wanna see from my digital currency. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, plug and go, send to an exchange, sell, and you have yourself some free money. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able, and share this video. Also, if you'd like to support the show in another way, and you'd like to get a kick-ass hardware wallet at the same time, please check out my affiliate links down below. I have links for the Trezor and the Ledger Nano S or the Ledger Blue. And if you pick one of those up, it just helps to support the show and allows me to potentially create even more content in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.